Intel Australia decided to partner with 30 schools around the country with the idea of moving students from just consuming technology to creating technology. We wanted to look at how you combine science, technology, engineering and maths with creativity, problem solving and collaboration. I was mind blown when I found out that we were getting the Intel Galileo. Like, I use Intel products all the time, like they're in my computer. And then to actually program one of the things they built is just outstanding. It's actually quite a lot of fun. And with the production design and also with the coding, I'm quite interested. All the um, innovations and things that we can create with it are basically endless. I feel a little bit clever when I'm working with this. Okay, I'm just gonna change the software a bit. Change, um, change the int to uh, random. Yeah. I think our technology has so much potential. I'm so excited by the idea of school students now being able to innovate around technology and some, some of the new kits that we've created that allow us to get like, little microprocessors into the hands of students. I have never seen Vivid and with the coding, now I'm getting to create a Vivid light show. Once I write down the code, it will tell the board what to do with the lights. It's just my imagination, so just getting creative. This is a vivid light show, so I tell it to make the lights blink on and off. I am doing the wiring for Amelia's coding, which is going to end up making a piezoelectrical device work as a doorbell on our automated houses. I've never really thought I was creative enough to be that innovative as now. When they verify their code and they go to upload it, if there's a problem, they have to find out what line of code is incorrect, what's missing from that part of the coding. So when I grow up, I want to be a programmer. And with programming, it's all about getting a vision, thinking about an idea that you want. We design all the, we design the program, and we've also been working on wiring up the Galileo to work with the code. And then there's 13 ports in which you can put wires which connect to the breadboard Wait. and power it. Is this uh, no. 13? Yeah. 13. 13. Understanding how technology works, how to process data, how to make objects smart, are all skills that these students are going to need in the future. 75% of the fastest growing jobs today require science, technology, engineering and math skills. I want to become an engineer but I just never thought it was capable for me to go into the technological world and just without this opportunity I wouldn't think I was going to get anywhere with technology. What's extraordinary with this technology is seeing teachers and students learning together at the same pace and that light bulb moment happens for both at the same time. It is absolutely an opportunity and it's so exciting as a teacher to watch the children take this technology, take the materials and just run with it. Those who are creative in terms of the arts, those who are creative in terms of mathematics, those who are creative in terms of science, we bring all that together so that they are now working in a creative manner and embracing all the technologies and all of the KLAs in order to produce what they can produce as the best in them. Really, I, I'm aiming for them to see that the disciplines, the separate disciplines aren't actually separate, that everything ties in together, that their design and make in science and their investigating scientifically in science ties in with mathematics, ties in with art, ties in with creative thinking, problem solving, and it all becomes one sort of integrated idea. So I just, I love doing all the technology, being creative and be able to make what is visually pictured in your mind, not just what's in your mind, but actually make it a reality and bring it into this world. Great resources, good facilities are, I think, one of the most important parts of uh, giving the students the greatest opportunities to learn. Only 14% of engineers are women and I think that we should change that. Now I know that's a possibility for me. To be able to get technology in the hands of kids today is something I'm really proud of. 